I know what. <laughs> I was so mad at time when uh, they had the Adventures End Game come out. Like, like I was so fried. I fell asleep halfway through. Woke up at the end. from Sony is giving Xbox built-in damn battery packs. That would be glorious. Apparently they put that uh, that early quitting penalty in the raids to do. What? First you'll get a warning and then if you do it again you'll get a 30 minute suspension from the playlist activity. The raids to no worries. Mm -hmm. They are very keen on Very keen on people not leaving early. <laughs> But apparently their system is not working appropriately because uh, they, and they said something about the suspension system, they're trying to like divide it or something like that. And it's like, I, I don't understand why you put a suspension system in casual playlists and then you turn control into a competitive playlist now, which is stupid because that means the only casual would be clash. <laughs> Which Clash isn't bad, but the problem with Clash is it's, it's just like pretty much the current Iron Banner. Everyone just sits together. Because mm. the, the way the PvP is now, it didn't used to be like this. Back like when uh, Chatterkeep came out, the PvP was balanced. It was all balanced. Then they started introducing all these cracked ass exotics and it just sent everything into a wall. I think they don't want to take away from the game, but I feel like if, if it's such a, a hassle, why don't you just disable exotics in PvP? I mean, it's... Because this constant nerfing and buffing is just ruining the exotics, it's ruining the game, breaking the community. You know, people kind of basically about everything until it's so fucking super easy. 
Well, that's the issue with Destiny right now is like the current debate divinity. Basically people are crying because they think it's too hard to get a raid exotic, which should take a process. And they want Bungie to simplify it. And Bungie's gotten to the point where they're they're caressing these people for making the game easy and it's like stop doing this shit. It's like we all had to go through so why did these people not have to go through it? Yeah, I'd like some of these pension entitled ass motherfuckers to play some of the old Nintendo games. Ah, uh, I, I truly, I just told him, we, we just got done spending hours on Modern Warfare 2. I was like, man, this was back when the games were good. I was like, after 360, there's no quality. It's all about the money and profit. It's like, oh, and the biggest thing, I'll tell you, that has killed gaming is the fucking streaming industry. Because happy streamers are like, I'm talking like ones that are like way up there because these companies, they don't listen to the actual player base. They only listen to people who have hundreds of thousands of followers. And it's like, why are you only listening to these some people? Of these I, fucking, yeah. Some of these fucking followers are fucking bought and paid for. Like I've seen that. <laughs> He said, let me just go buy a hundred thousand followers and people will never know. And then people like me sit there and honest to God put fucking hours and blood sweat Effort and, and you and get shit. nothing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's amazing and it's like, <clears throat> Bungie even admitted that at this point they're only been listening to the streamers. And it's like, Bungie, what are you going to do and all these other companies when all these top big streamers die off? What, what's going to happen then? You're going to have to listen to the regular player base. We're the ones that make up the games anyway. That's when that's when mm -hmm. I'll probably actually keep more. <laughs> yes. That's why like I held off on doing the Twitch because once I I started really researching and understanding it, I'm like, man, this is the, the most bullshit competition I've ever seen. When the big streamers die off, I'll peak like I did in Rockland. <laughs> I mean, I, I can 3, take 3, it. 3.1 thousand views on the video in a single movie. I think the most views I ever had on a video or even a Twitch stream was like 30. And then that's like, I see people who have never streamed before and all of a sudden, like 10,000. It's like, what did you do to get 10,000 views in a single clip? Oh. So that's that's what I feel like at this point because like I mean the biggest thing in getting the following is obviously entertainment purposes, but I feel like a lot of people really focus when it comes to like holiday events and stuff like that. Well, I do shit like that just to And that's, I mean, that's what it should be about, is, is the enjoyment of friends. And most of these streamers, they go on and it's like, oh. And alright gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor, if you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like, hit that like and subscribe button, flicker ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit, what up? <laughs> what? What? What?